It's Wednesday, May 28th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. A convoy belonging to chemical weapons experts was attacked in Syria while on its way to investigate alleged chlorine gas use. The Syrian government said the fact-finding team was trying to reach a village in Hama, where a 10-hour ceasefire would allow it to carry out its work. The team later released a statement saying they were safe. Rebels say the military has dropped barrel bombs of the gas from helicopters over the last few months. A claim the government denies. President Bashar al-Assad agreed last year to hand over the country's entire chemical weapons stockpile after hundreds of people were killed in a sarin gas attack near Damascus. An Iranian judge wants Facebook founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg to answer questions about mobile applications WhatsApp and Instagram. According to Iranian media, the judge summoned Zuckerberg over complaints the Facebook-owned apps violate the privacy of Iranian users. Lucky for him, though, there's no extradition treaty between the US and Iran, so the summons can't actually be enforced. America's highest court decided on Tuesday that states can't use an IQ score of 70 as a strict cutoff for execution. Florida had upheld the death sentence of a man who tested at 71, but the Supreme Court argued that the state had to apply a margin of error, and that modern medical guidelines don't use IQ scores as the only measure of intellectual ability. It's the first decision to fine-tune a 2002 ruling which held that executing mentally disabled people violated the Eighth Amendment against cruel and unusual punishment. Greenpeace activists boarded an oil drilling rig in the Norwegian Arctic on Tuesday to try to stop exploration plans in the far north. But because the rig is in international waters, Norwegian police say they can't do anything about it until drilling begins, after which they could claim they were protecting national interests. The environmental group says the drilling threatens Norway's Bear Island, an uninhabited wildlife sanctuary which is home to rare species. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. I think people have this idea that it's the far right versus the far left. It's, it's a very broad kind of resistance against them. Mm -hmm. It's not just specific uh, anti-fascist groups. With their policies, it's violence against us. Mm -hmm. It's violence against all of my friends who might be homosexual or just a different skin colour.